welcome all water signs to your chakra reading. This is a collective chakra reading um, for all water signs. Welcome Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Okay, my friends, let's see what's going on with your energy at this time. And remember, friends, this can't resonate with everyone. So if it doesn't, you can always go to your rising moon or Venus. Okay. <clears throat> And welcome back all subscribers, anyone new. Welcome, welcome, and cross-watchers, of course. Okay, my friends. This isn't really great for cross-watchers as much. I just want to let you know that this is really for the people of the sign, okay? Because it's not really going to affect you too much unless you're just wondering what's going on with your person, but, nah, okay. Um, this is more kind of a general reading for that sign. Um, so, honesty... I can't always express the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself talking about this beautiful intuition, talking about that third eye chakra um, and having all these other chakras going along with it saying, you know, as I'm honestly communicating, honestly, the way I love talking about the heart chakra and the throat chakra, a lot of throat, a lot of love, right? So we're talking about the way honesty is made. Right. Honesty is made by that loyalty, that truth, that love, that compassion. But yet it needs to be communicated as well. So making sure that you are listening and communicating. And, you know, it causes also creativity through the throat chakra. So and the way we interact with communication. Right. And knowing that you want to see this, that, you know, you really this is what you honestly want. Right. Within your life. You know, you might even be coming to down to the points of. Is this really, you know, what's going on around me? Being truthful with others within the slippery business? Are people holding things back from you? Right? Be honest with yourself. Open up your heart and see the truth. Are they really addressing themselves about the situation? Are you addressing the situation? Right? Take it how it resonates. If you know that you are the one communicating all the love, and honestly they are, you know, giving it back to you, you know, take time to kind of step back and, you know, look around, right? Be absolutely truthful when it comes to addressing yourselves um, about the situation, right? Okay, so they're talking about this honesty. Honesty is the best policy. We all know this. So what is honestly going on, right? Um, over here, you have the heart source. Wow, a lot of heart over here going on, my water signs over here. As you are encompassed um, with, you know, great compassion, an emotion. And I just feel like, you know, you need to maybe open up your heart chakras to see what's going on around you. Maybe you're over open, right? Think about that, my friends. Are you over giving your love, your compassion and not receiving? Or do you need to open, you know, and give it to others? Are you too closed down? So the heart, the heart of the source over here is all encompassing love unconditional acceptance, the serenity of the situation. And so it's saying this beautiful stargate is opening up at this time, saying, allow yourself. And if it's self-love, if you're giving too much out and they're not giving back, where's the self-love? Honestly, where is it going? Why am I giving? It's just going to tear you down. And water signs are mostly very empathic because of the emotions. If you guys know that you're empaths, right? This could really hurt, right? If I'm giving too much and not honestly getting it back, or maybe you're hurt and you're not giving it, right? <clears throat> okay, so the new moon in Gemini, think it through. Think it through very well. What is it that you want? Water signs, what is it that you want? Look at all this purple. Everything is purple. Look at all of this. You're totally intuitive right now. Your intuition Right? Go with that gut feeling. You know. Could be dealing with a Gemini. <clears throat> but however it is, it's like think it through. Think about what it is you truly want out of the situation. Am I expressing it enough? Am I closed down? Or am I giving too much and allowing my, you know, them to destroy my self-esteem? Allowing them to shut me down. Maybe they're also allowing yourself to shut down. Maybe... For some of you, wow, I just thought that, you know what, I gave, I gave, I gave, you never gave back, so now I'm shutting down away from you. Maybe they're trying to come back, you know, and express it, and you're like, whoa, hold on. 
right? So now Spirit is like, I need you to open this up. I need you to, you know, do what you need to do. Causes a lot of mental conflict over here, right? A lot of mental conflict. Where's the love going? Is it coming? Am I giving too much? It just feels like your wheels are going crazy over here. You need to stay balanced within, you know, here's that blue again, within the thought, right? Keep your thoughts balanced. Too overthinking about the situation. You have a beautiful transformation coming on over here. As you're thinking it through, you will realize that this transformation and this growth within yourself, and there's that green for the heart again, as you're rooting yourself back down into the earth star chakra, grounding yourself, you will realize the beautiful butterfly effect that is going on around you as you're transforming everything around you. I'm going to move these over a little bit. But yes, you're, you're, I think that a lot of you are transforming, and I think that that's the biggest thing that's going on here. I think you're going through a transformative period within your life right now, and you're in mental kind of conflict of what's maybe what's real and what's not. Is it coming? Is it not? Am I being truthful to myself about the situation? I know what I want, but is it ever going to come? And I think that, that that's really the way it is. It says keep yourself balanced so that you allow the transformation to take place. Okay, let's grab two cards for the middle right there. It's kind of the overall outlook of the situation. I'm going to clarify on the whole situation, please, Spirit. The whole situation for the water signs. Two cards, please. Doing it all, carrying all the weight. Feeling like you need to re release Overstressed out, feeling burned out, not being able to use your chakras right, not feeling like you're, I, I just feel like you guys aren't, could be dealing with Sagittarius, you're giving too much. I feel like you're giving too much, and I do feel like for some of you, because of the mon mental conflict, you've taken kind of a step back, and I think now your heart is kind of closed a little. And so it's saying you need to get to the heart of the source of the matter. And you have the Hierophant talking about the way you want mercy within yourself, the way you're trusting within yourself, the honesty, the trust, the loyalty. Committed to doing what you need to do. Some of you might be in a committed relationship and feel like they're not committing their duties. Wow. Yeah. Some of you might want a traditional type of love. More traditional, more grounded. You don't want to play. Sometimes, sometimes we don't want to play by society's rules, but then yet we do, right? So it's like conforming to society's rules, but yet also doing what's right. So clarifying on the heart of the source and the mental conflict is just like, you know what, this is just giving me all in your head. I just feel like you guys are all in your head about the situation, seeing things the way it needs to be seen. I just feel like once you get yourself balanced, you'll be able to see clearly the situation at hand. Clarifying on that, thank you. Feeling like true, yeah. For some of you, it's almost like feeling like true love. I just heard true love doesn't exist. What I really want, the love and the affection and the true love just doesn't exist the way I see it. Why? Why? Maybe somebody is trying to be unorthodox with you when it comes to a relationship, and that's why you want to conform to what traditions are. It's also showing a sign of you not being balanced within your yourself and your higher self. They may have taken a lot of your own self-love away. That's for some of you. 
make you feel like you're trapped in a box. Maybe they give love when they want to. You don't see them coming towards you at all. Not the way you want them to. Two again. Two, two, two. Look at that. Divine message right there. And two in my lap. Oh my gosh. That's four twos. Don't tell me that angels ain't trying to tell you something. <clears throat> right? It's like, nope. <clears throat> so with all the twos, the twos are balance, duality, wanting that partnership, wanting what true love really is, making the decisions, feeling like there's opposition around you, having the reflection, feeling like there's diversity, feeling imbalanced, feeling like, you know what, I'm working, doing all the work myself. Why am I putting in all this extra work? I want to know honestly how you feel about me. Can you come and talk to me? And then, you know, and then with your own chakra, it's like you honestly have to make that decision about, you know, what you need to be um, looking at intuitively. Maybe you're not listening to your intuition. Maybe you know that this, you know, they're not listening to you. They're not really going to give you what you want. Whatever your intuition is saying, maybe you're discarding it. Because as it says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. See? So trying to figure out what's truthful, what's not. Clarifying on the think it through and the transformation. There's that butterfly effect coming. I mean, you guys are transforming over here. Yeah, right now you feel like the wounded warrior. You feel like, you know what, I've been giving, giving, giving. I don't know how much more I can take. I got these nine, this is nine of wands, but I got eight wands behind me and it's like they've never gotten touched. They, they just sit back there and I have to walk on this one because the eight over there is, you know, is all the problems that they want to throw at you. All the unresolved issues that are going on within your life that have made you, yes, eight again. What is going on? Oh, nine and eight. Oh, because I said eight of wands. It doesn't matter. That's weird, though, because I said the eight of wands behind you, and then I pulled out an eight of cups. <laughs> so that threw me off. I'm sorry, guys. That was the nine of wands. That was the one, nine of wands with the eight of wands behind you that haven't been touched, but it's, like, really crazy because now they're saying you have eight of cups. So it's it's the same thing. Look at this. If you look at the synchronicities within the situation, it's like these eight are what's hurting me. I'm walking only on this one. And then the eight of cups comes out and says, yeah, because I'm going to take the one walking stick that I have with me. See, he's on his walking stick. And I think I've had enough. So I have eight of, eight of cups that I'm going to leave behind. Wow. So you're saying these are what hurt me. Maybe I should just walk away from them. And he still has his walking stick. That's, that's some synchronized stuff right there. And it's kind of crazy because you're, you have the wand over here too that you're holding on to. So it's like I'm looking out with this hand on this one. This is a very synchronized reading, guys. This is really crazy. They've been really like this, though, a couple of readings. But look, you're holding on to this wand over here as you're looking out, saying, is this going to work? And then you're saying, no, I guess not, because I'm the wounded warrior over here. And I'm still holding, now I'm holding so tight because I don't see it working because these eight of wands back here just keep attacking me. The eight of wands turn into the eight of cups of emotion. And you're saying now it's not just conflict. Now it's actually, you know what, this emotion has got me so crazy. I just, you know, I got to walk away from it because it's now overriding my emotions. It's overriding everything that I have. So having that feeling of it's not going to work. The more emotion that I keep putting into it, the more they keep taking from me. So feeling like, you know what, it's not getting balanced. Having this red in his shirt and the red in the shirt over here is saying, and his red in his in his cape here is saying pretty much that there is no there's no grounding there's no firm foundation within this relationship i can't find my footing there's nothing grounded that i'm going after see the orange in his shirt he's saying i'm going after my desire but and i'm looking out for you to come towards me show me what it is i want but you keep hurting me so, for a lot of you, it's like walking away from that. 
not going to being honest within yourself, seeing what's true blue as we see in the sky, seeing what's real, what communication comes from the heavens as this moon is illuminating other dreams, other possibilities, seeing it for what it is through your intuition with the moon, not hiding anything from you. I like that the moon is right side up. Because all you've been doing is juggling this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, as you were sitting over here trying to decide what it is, how this is going to work. And then it just comes to the point where the juggling is in the mind, within the mental conflict. And then you see the emotion down here within the water of the communication. All the mixed emotions. But you're juggling those two pinnacles of the foundation. <clears throat> Clarifying, please, on the Ten of Wands and the saying, you know what, this is just because this is so overburdening. I just don't even know what to do. I'm exhausted. So the transformation is really gathering, yeah, as you are putting yourself into hermit mode. And that's what it's saying. I want you, you know, look deep within yourself. Get yourself grounded. Get your chakras back together. Put your, you know, your thought and emotions where they're supposed to be. This will give you the ultimate idea of how to get to the Eight of Cups because the Eight of Cups says that's, yeah, the Eight of Cups is going to end up the death card, which is the same as that, the transformation for the transformation, saying that you're going through this, this huge metamorphosis um, transformation through your emotions, what you truly want within your life. And you have the gatekeeper over here, which is the Hierophant, which is crazy because you see the Hierophant here. Wow. Here comes those synchronicities again. We have the Hierophant that was sitting there. And we have the transformation over here. So the transformation is here. And the gatekeeper is on this side. So it's definitely saying that this is where I'm going to find what it is you truly trust. You have the wisdom within yourself. The Hierophant is very wise. He knows exactly what you want. Right? You are the Hierophant in your own ways because you're going after your own approval of what it is you truly want within your life, keeping yourself on task. It's like the God card, right? And death comes in and says, okay, so what are we going to do? He says, I want you to transform. I want you to let go. I'm going to actually put the death card between, actually now, I'm going to put it between the Hierophant and the Transformation card and keep the cups over there. Um, because why? Because you're going to, there's a tower coming. This is the ultimate awareness. Now that's going to be next to the Hermit right there, right? Because it says when you go into Hermit mode, getting to the Hierophant, you're going to have to take a tower. It's when the sudden shock, the sudden awareness, here you are in the red, falling, Right? falling and it's you know you're falling to the awareness you understand what's going on fully aware of the situation fully aware that this whole needs to come down so that way you can transform the way you need to transform this no longer is serving you this has to happen for your overall strength this is this tower is going to bring this strength into you so that you no longer have to walk on this stick but you are going to walk on the stick for about a minute, right? You're going to use that walking stick to walk away from the Eight of Cups. But once you get away from the Eight of Cups, right, you're going to close. Look at how she's closing the jaw of the lion. She says, no more. No more taking away my love. No more holding me back from love. No more... No more doing what you want. She has the infinity sign at the top. She says, I am destined to get to what I want. I honestly know the truth within the situation. And I am now racing towards what it is I truly want. And nothing is going to stop me. You got your red cape on again. And now you're ready to full force go after what you want. Your chakras are all done. You know where you're going. 
you're no longer confused, you're holding your sword up, which means you cut through the truth, you understand the truth, and you're ready to rock. And you're coming away from whatever, you know, was no longer serving you, racing towards what it is you want. Yeah, you know what, if I want to be alone, I'll be alone so that I can do what I want to do, right? But I have found the ultimate passion over here. And I'm going for, you know, all the things that I am passionate about. You might even be racing towards a, a fire sign. Somebody who you know is going to give you love. Maybe you're, you know, maybe you know that this one relationship is no good. Maybe you're with a, you know, another water sign or a Virgo. And maybe you're racing towards this other person who can, knows how to show you love. Somebody who can collaborate with you. Someone who, you know, knows how to treat you. Take that how it resonates. It's not for everybody. But what it is, is you're going to stabilize yourself with the pinnacles. Knowing the powerful three within yourself. Mind, body, soul. I am whole. I can collaborate with myself or with others on the same area. I am truthful with myself. I know who I am and what I want. That's a very empowering, a very empowering, empowering reading, my, my friends, because it's showing you that you, you know, once I get all of these things done and I really have an introspective of what it is I honestly want for myself, you are going to race. You are going to be so strong. No one is going to be able to touch you because now you know the truth and anything that comes into your way, you are going to cut them out immediately and say, nope, you didn't do what I wanted you to do. I got to go. Not going to allow bullshit into your life. If they can't be trusting and loyal and honest, then you're going to say, I don't want that. If you can't show me what true love is and what, you know, what passion is, give and take, I don't want it. Right? Because you're going to become very fierce like the lion. You're going to add this fiery like Leo energy, and if you guys have Leo in your chart, oh my God, you are going to be on fire because now you've literally woke up and said, this is who I am. Now, it's really crazy because last night when I was in, I was doing meditation, I seen this card in my mind, and so I had to go find it. I hadn't seen this card forever, guys. We haven't done law and attraction forever. It was really weird, but I think it means a lot, not only to myself, but also to everyone, so... I know it was more for myself than everyone, but the more I keep looking at it over there, it reminds me of this reading, so I'm just going to give to everyone. I know who I really am. Lana, track that. You do. And this card says you are an extension of non-physical energy. You are indeed an extension of what, of that which we are. Excuse me. We are known as the teacher. We are known as Abraham. We are together because of our matching intentions and desires. Once you really know who you are and who you really are and let everybody else understand this is who I am, boy, that is empowering, right? And that's what you're doing a lot in this reading. I, I think that's why I just kind of seen it over there. It kind of caught my eye because it reminds me of this reading. You are not only teaching yourself exactly who you are, you're going to teach the world, don't walk on me. I know what I am capable of doing. I know who I am and I know what I'm capable of receiving. Okay. And that was it for you, my beautiful friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.